Hello everybody, this is Lucretia and you're tuned in to another episode of Candid Conversations. I hope that you are having an amazing day and as you can see, I am outside today. So if you see sights and sounds in the background, it is a beautiful day. According to Luke 727, it says, and he said to them, and you shall love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your strength, with all of your mind, and with all of your soul. And you shall love your neighbor as yourself. So with that scripture in mind today, I would like to discuss the topic of idolatry. So what are the things, what are the people, what are the places, what are the situations that we are more dedicated to than we are actually dedicated to God? Because according to this scripture, nothing or no one is supposed to be in front of him. He is supposed to be the absolute most important person in our lives. And I want to talk about idolatry of relationship in particular. Sometimes being single out here in these streets is frowned upon because everybody thinks that to be in a relationship is going to solve all of our problems. To be married is going to put an end to all of the stressors that we have in life. Nothing could be further from the truth. I know some absolutely amazingly beautiful marriages, and I also know some absolutely amazingly beautiful single situations. But I know some horrible marriages and some horrible situations as well. So while we may all want companionship at some point in our lives, the Bible says it's not good for man to be alone. We can find companionship in different types of ways. If we are not married, it does not mean that we have to be alone. And it also does not mean that we cannot live. And it also does not mean that we have to live a miserable existence. When we are single, it gives us an opportunity to figure ourselves out, to be a dedicated disciple of Christ before we go linking up with anyone else and to kind of do the things that we like to do so that we can get to know ourselves. Because I understand that just because we're, being, we're married, it does not solve all of our problems. It does not solve the problems of loneliness a lot of times. It does not solve the problems of lust sometimes. It does not solve the, all financial problems or the closeness and the companionships that we sometimes desire because there's not one person on this earth who is designed to be everything for us. That is the place of God our spouse or our friends or anyone like that, they are not designed to be everything that we need them to be. God says that he wants to be number one in our lives. And sometimes in the church, we have got to stop putting pressure on people and make them feel kind of uncomfortable when they're single, whether it's a male or a female. People are single for different reasons, and some people just have no desire to get married, number one. Some people are not ready to get married, number two. And some people don't need to get married. And some people, it's the timing is not right. So with that in mind, I was just thinking about how we romanticize and how we idolize marriage sometimes like it's the highest goal in Christianity, like it's the biggest thing and the, that, that's the thing that we're all supposed to do. Nothing could be further from the truth. What we're supposed to do is become disciples of Christ and to live our lives to glorify God, whether we are married or whether we are single, because our identity and our completeness comes from our relationship with Jesus Christ, whether we are 
connected to another person or not. So just a little bit encouragement today about idolatry. We are to love God with all of our heart, with all of our mind, with all of our soul, and with all of our strength. And if you are married, amazing. So happy for you. And if you are single, amazing. So happy for you. Whatever state we find ourselves in, we have to learn to be content in Christ. Bye.